welcome back to my channel it is Carrie coming at you guys with a weekly vlog today is Friday your girl just got off work it is still morning time love that for me um so I'm about to go to the Florida mall and I'm gonna see if I can find my niece a birthday gift it's her first birthday her birthday is actually today but the party isn't until tomorrow and I gotta wake up first thing in the morning and drive seven hours to Georgia for this birthday and so I need to get her a gift so that's what I'm about to go do right now and I'm actually really hungry all I've had was an apple today and that was at like 5 30 this morning so yeah but anyway so yeah that's just what's going on and we'll see if I'm brave enough to pull this camera out and mom I don't know but we'll see we'll see I kind of like this a little bit. It's so heavy, but I don't need it. I kind of like this chore. talk over this music because it's gonna be copyright for sure but yeah I don't know what the fuck to get her like one of these All right. so she can go to the grocery store oh. watch somebody else get her one of these I just 40? What? Yo, there's literally a car behind me just waiting for me to move and I'm not moving. These people here, they be so entitled and crazy. Like, you're sitting here blocking the way, waiting for me to leave. You don't know what I have to do. There's probably somebody else pulling out of a, a spot right now as you're sitting here blocking the driveway waiting for me. Anyways, um, I got some chocolate here from hello is it focusing from Lotterock Lotterach and they're pretty cheap like they have like some bougie looking chocolate for like two dollars a piece I don't feel like that's bad mm. oh never mind I didn't realize that there was a coconut on top. I hate shade coconut. The inside is good though. The inside is really good. And then this one had like a weird name. I forgot uh, the name of it. Is it focusing? I don't know why it's not focusing y'all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one's really good. Oh. Y'all, they're still waiting. And then there's this one. Y'all. 
Yeah, I'm still learning how to work this camera, so excuse me. But it has uh, like a bunch of words and cursive written on it. It's really pretty. Like, the hell? I don't know. But it's like the, the Dos Leche, De, De Leche, something. I don't know. good but I'm I can't pinpoint like the flavor on the inside and then this one's the uh, the cappuccino one They finally got out of everybody's way. <laughs> oh, that one's rich. That one was really rich. They finally left. Y'all, some of these people here are something else. Like the other day I was at Walmart and literally had a lady block me and another car in our parking spots trying to get to her spot when she left. But it's like, how are you going to get her spot? She needs to be able to back out. So you know what that woman did? since the car behind me wouldn't move because I think they didn't want to move because there was another car behind them and they didn't want to like get out the way and have that car take their spot but it's like you're blocking her like she literally can't move so either way it goes like you need to move so that woman she pulled up and she parked back in her spot and she just sat there on the phone and the whole time they're blocking me like I couldn't go anywhere literally couldn't go nowhere so I'm sitting here like honking my horn they wouldn't go and then finally they sat there for like a good maybe like seven minutes and then they finally left and I'm like you literally just stopped me and her in the car behind you from going anywhere like for what like how did that make sense meanwhile out of all this time you could have been circled around and probably found another spot somewhere else like I just I don't get it I didn't get shit from Windsor I was like I really don't need it yeah I feel like I have this setting on too bright but I was like, I don't need it. Like, I got plenty of shit to wear. I really wanted to get that really long dress. But I was like, this is not what I came here for. I'm trying to crack down on my spending, y'all. Trying to crack down. And I don't need no more damn clothes. I don't need no more damn dresses. I don't know. Not right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to go home. No, actually, I need to stop by, like, a Burlington or a Walmart or something and get um, a gift bag for this. Y'all, it's so weird that I can, like, film and be on my phone at the same time. Like, that's crazy. But, um, yeah, I should be home right now. And it's going to take me 40 minutes to get there. So, yeah. Home brush. And, girl, she literally, I shit you not, she grabbed my wrist and started pulling me. And at first, like, I pulled back and she let go the first time, but then she grabbed it again. And this time, was resisting me pulling back, like, what? <laughs> this bitch had a strong baby grip on my fucking wrist. I was like, what the hell? It's me out for my hyperpigmentation. Which is so funny, because, like, the older I've gotten, I've noticed. Like, I've actually noticed and paid attention to the fact that I have hyperpigmentation. But I've never actually had anybody call it out.
Okay, y'all, so I am all ready to go. This is just what I'm wearing, did my makeup. It's about to be six in a little bit. So I'm about to have to start loading up the car. But um, y'all, I literally got like two and a half hours of sleep. <laughs> so hopefully this drive isn't gonna be too much of a struggle. Um, I already know the second I get there, I'm gonna be so over the makeup because like by then I would have the makeup on for like seven freaking hours already. So, so y'all, I'm gonna try so hard not to get irritated and stressed out, but I'm literally halfway on the trip. I was gonna be there an hour and a half before the party started, so on schedule. Then my brake light and the battery light come on. Like y'all, I swear it's like, it's always something, always something with me. If I try to do anything, like there's always something that happens. I called my friend and he was like, it could be a sign that the alternator is bad. If the alternator is bad, that means your battery isn't charging. And I'm like, what the hell? So literally like while I'm on the road, I Google and it says that when that happens, you have like 20 to 30 minutes of like driving time before your car just dies. And with the brake light being on, that could be a sign that like my fluid is just low or something like that. Which is crazy because I don't even think I've ever even had to put in my brake fluid. I don't know. So, in the middle of my trip, I'm literally about to go to the nearest mechanic. There's a 24-hour mechanic here. And they have good reviews. So, I'm about to go there. Which means I'm about to spend even more unexpected money. That was one reason why I did not want to come on this trip. Because I was like, I really can't stomach spending this much money right now. But I'm, I'm already, I've already spent 400 on just the trip. The Airbnb, the birthday gift, all that alone. Now there's no no telling how much this is about to be. And I've already spent at this point a hundred in gas. <sighs> like, I'm like really trying to like be cool and tell myself it's gonna be easy fix and it's gonna be fine. Because keep in mind, I have to come back tomorrow. <sighs> Bro, like where they got me going? <laughs> oh my gosh! Like what is this? Oh. Y'all, everything is fixed. But obviously that put me behind schedule, so I'm gonna be late to the birthday party, which, okay, that's fine, whatever. But that wound up being 444 bucks. This trip for a one-year-old's birthday party has turned out to be a thousand bucks already. Why is it so bright? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Love that for me. <sighs> but out of the way it goes, it was, it was going to happen at some point. Like, if my alternator was going bad, like, it was going to happen. Like, regardless. But, um, yeah, I'm back on the road. Got four and a half hours left until I'm there. But that was just some craziness. And like I texted my brother and I told him what was going on. And I was like, don't say nothing to daddy because he is not about to call me stressing me out with all that stuttering and all that. No, no. I already started to sweat out my hair. I'm hoping that Hornet still isn't in my car because there were so many wasps and Hornets under that cast. <laughs> and one of them flew in the car. So yeah, let's hope it still ain't in here. But anyways, I will see y'all whenever I finally make it to the party. <laughs> Look, 
Yeah, I don't know if it's just me or like this camera. I feel like it's too close. But um, anyways, just got to the hotel. Completely forgot my phone in my car, so I had to come back out here in the rain to get it. But um, it's cool because I'm gonna like film the entrance of like the building and everything, so y'all can see it. It's my very first time ever staying here, and um, so far it's like a it's a cute hotel. Um, so yeah, let's um, have a looky look. Okay, y'all, I'm still learning how to work this camera, so bear with me. I don't know how to, t uh, like, turn the shaky, the shakiness off. But, um, I'm gonna try not to be in everybody's face, y'all, because hotels are kind of sketchy. Like, I guarantee you there's a few people in here that ain't got no business being in here right now. <laughs> Anyways, like, this is just the building. Is the door going to open? Okay, so this is the lobby. As you can see, it is popping to Popping to at the bar. Too much for me right now. <laughs> it's like the pool. The pool is over here. They got an indoor and outdoor pool. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be up in there. What time is it close? Eleven PM. We love that. We love it. Ah. Y'all. I feel like I'm doing the shittiest job of filming because I'm still trying to get used to using this camera. So hopefully the footage doesn't look like too bad. Okay. So this is the hallway. not on when I was just in here oh y'all I forgot to bring my extra lock damn it meanwhile I could have sworn that I was supposed to have uh, two beds in here I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be a two bedroom but I mean it's just me now anyway 
But anyways, so this is the front door. Y'all, I'm still trying to figure out like how I can turn off like that shakiness, but I don't know. Um, here's the closet. And then here is a sliding door with a long mirror. I cannot stand having a hotel room that doesn't have a long mirror. I didn't know that this one had a long mirror. So that is great. Also y'all, when I went to go get my car fixed earlier, my chicken cutlets literally slid off my body because I was so hot. So we, yeah, free the nipple all day today. Um, <laughs> this is the bathroom. Just has a stand in walk-in shower. And then here is the sink and everything. There's a TV. Here is the bed. Where's the lights on here? Yeah. yeah, the bed. And then desk area. Ooh, now she blurry. Microwave, Keurig, safe. You know, typical stuff. Got a little chair and everything over here. And I don't even look at my view. Okay. Not awful. <laughs> They're like building a lot of stuff over there though. But yeah, that is Atlanta for you. Okay, I don't know what I did, but I feel like this looks different. Anyway, um, so I did check. I was supposed to get a two bedroom. So I called the host, they didn't pick up. I left a voicemail and then I sent them a message basically being like, um, can I get a refund for the extra bed that I did not get? Cause like I had got a two bedroom just in case my sister and my nephew needed somewhere to stay. They wound up staying at her cousin's. Um, and I could have stayed with my daddy because apparently him and my brother's mom got like this big Airbnb with my brother's brother. And um, I could have joined, but my daddy didn't even tell me that he was actually coming. I asked him like a week ago, he said he didn't know. And then I didn't hear anything. So I was like, okay, well, I guess he's not going. So I had already booked my Airbnb two days ago. And then yesterday I called him again. And I was like, like, are you going? Because like, I found out my sister was actually going. And he's like, yeah. And I'm just like, okay. And I was like, well, I'm going to have an extra bed. And nobody needed an extra bed. But thank goodness nobody needed one since I didn't get the extra bed. And so like, that's the only reason why I'm just like, it's fine. Like, I don't need to like move a room or anything because it's just me now. However, I still did not get what I paid for. So they need to be sending me some sort of something. I'm just, I'm not gonna let it upset me, but I'm just like really getting so sick of people not doing their jobs, people half ass and shit, and just like things not being how they are supposed to be. It's really starting to send me over the edge. Like, if y'all watched my last, like, few vlogs, like, y'all know, like, there's just been, like, so much shit going wrong. Like, because people just, like, suck. Um, yeah, like, nobody cares. So, I'm just, like, really hoping he gets back to me. Um, or I'm going to be blowing him up. Like, I'm, I'm going to be blowing up their phone. I'm going to be calling the desk. I'm going to be calling everybody because y'all did not give me what I paid for. This is a smaller room with one bed. Anyway. But overall, like, it's a pretty nice hotel. Um, I think I want to get some room service because I'm not going to go to the bar. I thought about going to the bar, but it's so noisy down there. I don't know if y'all could, like, really see, like, all the people or, like, hear how noisy it was. But it's a lot going on. Um, and I just kind of want peace right now. Like, I just left Chuck E. Cheese. Like, that was pretty overstimulating. I will say I had a good time at the party, though. I really did like y'all I usually I do not like kids birthday parties I don't like kids birthday parties I don't have a good time it's just too overstimulating it's too much anxiety because like too many different families mixing up and like some people be kind of weird and then just kids running around everywhere it's just not a good time for me but I actually had a good time today I did have a good time today my niece she's so cute <laughs> she's so cute but um yeah so that was fun um 
And then I met my brother's girlfriend's side of the family. And her mom was so sweet. She was so sweet. So I feel like that made it like less awkward. Like, you know, some people are kind of staying offish. And I feel like when you go to like, like things like that, like I feel like there's like this weird competitive um, energy in the air between families. And it's like, we're joined as one. Like, why are you acting weird? Like, I don't know. So it was nice. I didn't feel like it was like that. Like her mom was like very welcoming. Like it was really, um, it was really nice. Um, but yeah, y'all, I have you know, fun seeing my people. Like, I really, I miss them already. But we might link up tomorrow. My sister, um, she says she might hit me up tonight because she's with her cousin, so I don't know what they're doing tonight. But um, I don't, I don't look for her to hit me up if I'm being honest, which is fine. Um, but tomorrow we might get together and do something. I'm just not sure what. My daddy already said he ain't want to go to Six Flags, which, because um, I ain't been to Six Flags in a while. Like, I kind of want to hop on a little roller coaster or something. But, um, yeah, because they're not leaving tomorrow. And once I check out of here, like, it's not like I have to be anywhere, like, right away. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. But I know what I'm doing tonight. And tonight, I wonder if I get room service. Can they, can they bring me um, alcohol? Like, I wonder if I can order alcohol up here. I should be able to. I don't see why not. If not, I'm going to have to go to the bar. But, um, yeah. I just want to go to the pool and just chill and be cute. But the pool doesn't close till 11, which is great. Like, I feel like most hotels, it's like 8 p.m., which is stupid. But, um, yeah, so I'm probably going to do that. And I brought a book just in case, like, I feel like reading, um... I low key, low key want to get my hair wet. And I'm like, I just straightened my hair like two days ago. Like, I don't know what this is with me. Like, get my hair wet two seconds after straightening it, but I have to stop. So yeah, I should, especially if you do something tomorrow. Like, I I shouldn't get my hair wet. I really want to though. And that water looked warm. Oh my gosh, if it's warm, it's gonna be so hard for me not to get my hair wet. Anyways, I'm trying to figure out like, should I get something to eat right now? Is there like a, yeah, there's a scan, order, enjoy. I don't know what time they close though. I think they, I think they close at 10, the, um, the food place. Oh, when is my checkout tomorrow? I need to make sure. Yo, I have so much footage to go through. I'm kind of annoyed though because at the um, party, um, I ran out of space on my SD card and I left my bigger SD card in the car and I was like, I'm not about to go all the way outside and go to the, uh-uh. So um, I had to film like the rest of the party footage on my phone. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, what? Uh, Like it literally says two bed. Yeah, let me make sure my checkout was. I'm gonna try to get a late checkout if I can. Like maybe like 12 or something. Cause when I tell y'all there ain't nothing like a hotel bed, I don't know what it is by hotel beds that are just so comfortable and like I just, I get the best sleep. Which is kind of weird because like most of the time they kind of stiff. So like, I don't know. Hello. What is the Wi-Fi in here? Oh, checkout is 12. That's nice. I should stay here again. The pool closed at 11. Checkout is already set at 12. Like, that sounds good to me. They just need to get my room right the next time. But, um, yeah, let me see uh, what kind of food they have. So they do have breakfast. Not they got crunchy French toes. What's crunchy French toes? It's cornflake crusted, okay. 
But we ain't looking at breakfast right now. Let's see. I don't want no pizza. I just had a little raggedy Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Don't want that. Vodka mule, what's that? They got charcuterie boards, Cajun salmon bites. What? Mini crab fritters. Oh, is this him? Hello? Hello? Hello. Hi there, Matt. Thank you so much for answering my call. By the way, this is Angel from Broken State. Uh, we really have one insurance for the agent in camp that we have in uh, at the other school after your call. When you Mankia? Uh, no. Um, not Mankia. <laughs> this is Kiera. Provide you the correct clue that you have booked for. Is that right? Correct. Okay, so what is the answer? I'm so sorry, ma'am, for the inconvenience. Uh, for me, I'm to be able to assist you accordingly. May I know, ma'am, the booking ID? Okay, so we got that order, but I'm going to go ahead and change into my bikini or whatever. Y'all, they literally, yeah, I cannot believe how much money I spent on this trip because they also just took, why well, is this not charging? Cause they also just took like the um the insurance stuff or whatever, for like like obviously like damages damages and stuff. But I didn't see on there that you don't get it back for like a week. And it's like y'all need a week to figure out if I damage anything in the room. You know how many people stay in the room the following week after that? Like y'all could easily blame anything on me. So like that's weird. So here is the bikini. She's real cute or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting on my food. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out like if I wanna do the claw clip. Or do I wanna do a ponytail? No, I'm gonna do a claw clip. I don't even know why I asked. Cause I don't wanna hop in there with a ponytail. Just for the tip of it to get wet. But um, Surprisingly, my sister called. Um, so she left my nephew with um, my daddy at Chuck E. Cheese so he could play some more. So it was just her and her cousin. And then she was talking about her and her cousin coming. But the thing about it is now, since I just have one bedroom, like I don't know if they're going to adjust like the type of guest or whatever that I have in here. Even though two adults and a child still works for a one bedroom or whatever but there's no child involved it's her and her cousin i don't think they're gonna let um two adults attend something with me like if it was just my sister that would work because of how i booked it but two adults i don't i don't want them to drive all the way over here just to get here and then somebody be doing their job too well all of a sudden and be like you can't have two guests you know or an extra guest or whatever so I told her, I was like, I'm waiting to hear back from the lady or whatever. So if I hear back from her today, like I'll, like I'll ask one of them, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to let me have that extra guest. So, and I know my sister want to hang out with her cousin. So it's probably best if she don't come. Just 
putting this little cover up on. So yeah, I'm, I'm surprised she even called me. I was like, she ain't gonna. I was like, she ain't gonna call me. Like she gonna have like fun with her cousin, or whatever. So I was like, dang, like everything's like mixed up and all over the place. Like, uh, anyway. But um, y'all, let me tell y'all what happened whenever I went and got my car fixed. This stuff like <sighs> irks me so bad. I'm so fucking sick of hearing it, especially at our grown ages. We still saying ignorant shit like this. So like, and this was like early on, like right after I got to this dude's house. So he was asking me like how I found him and everything and like what it said on Google and stuff. And um, we were just like kind of conversating. And then I mentioned how I wasn't from here. Like I wasn't from Florida. And he was like, oh, I can tell. And I was like, and I didn't bother to ask him to elaborate. Because I'm like, I really didn't give a fuck. I, I was worried about my fucking car. I wasn't worried about what he was thinking about me or whatever. And um, then uh, he was like, oh, I didn't mean anything by that. It's just, you're just like, uh, you're, um... But well, I told him, no, I told him I was from Shreveport, Louisiana. And he was like, yeah, I knew it was something like that. He was like, you're a white black girl. Mind you, this dude was white. Okay. And I was just like, it's been, it's been a minute since I've heard that. It's been a minute since I've heard that. But I was like, I wasn't even going to entertain it. But like, he just kept going on. And I was just like, well, it's funny you, you say that just because I said I was from Shreveport. He clearly don't know nothing about Shreveport. But I was just kind of like looking at him crazy a little bit. And he was like, he was like, it's, it's not to be like, I'm not trying to like be disrespectful, whatever. And I was like, well, like, well, what made you like, what made you say that? And um, he was like, well, you know, it's like, it's the way you carry yourself. And like, you can tell like you're real, like high maintenance and stuff like that. Like, what does it have to do with being a black girl or a white girl? I get so tired of ignorant ass comments like this especially when you could have just like kept it to yourself and i said anything at all like it was not necessary to say that at all and then you said it to a customer like i'm like so not professional and um e even though we was out in a fucking country literally at his house i guess he don't feel like he got to be prof professional i don't know but that shit it, it irked me more than what it, it should have. And maybe it's because I haven't heard it in a while. Like, growing up, like, I heard all the time, like, oh, you a white girl, you a white girl, da, da, da. And for the times, I'd be like, what does that mean? Like, tell me what I'm supposed to act like as a black girl. They could never answer me because it's like in that moment, they realized what they said was ignorant. Because every time y'all say that shit, y'all are basically saying... That like just because like I carry myself better or I speak a little bit better, which I do not even use proper usage. Like, like it, it's just crazy because I'm like, I don't know, not one fucking white girl who talks like me or acts like me. But it's like just because I carry myself with a little bit more class, I'm all of a sudden on my black. So y'all basically saying that black people aren't classy and white people are classy. And if you carry yourself not good, that's like just being equivalent to like being black. Like, do, like, do y'all not even realize what y'all saying before y'all say it? And it irks me even more when it comes out of black people's mouths because I got it growing up. I feel like most of the time it came from black people. And it's like, you're really just saying how you see ourselves. Like, do you see us as like bottom of the barrel? Like, what, what, what am I supposed to talk like? What am I supposed to act like? Please tell me because still ain't nobody told me. Because y'all know what y'all saying is stupid. But for people, I'm so tired of people like trying to group all black women into like, or I say, I specified as black women, but black people, but I'm going to say black women because I'm a black woman. Like that's what he was telling it to. Um, it's just crazy how people keep trying to put us in this box. Like we're ratchet and we don't carry ourselves well and all this shit or whatever. Meanwhile... Last my check, black women were literally the fastest growing educated group in the country. Fast, fastest growing group of entrepreneurs. And yet y'all are still running with this untrue notion that we just like ratchet and we don't carry ourselves good and like stop, stop. It, it's giving that you hyper fixate on those types of black women.
Pretty much because you just probably really don't even like black women or black people in general. Like that's where it's coming from. So you need to look within yourself and work on yourself. But like that like, really just like annoy me because I'm just like, it's just so stupid when people say that because how am I supposed to act? How am I supposed to act? Tell me. Quickly, quickly. I forgot their Wi-Fi is $13 a day. That's crazy. This better be some good ass Wi-Fi if I gotta pay 13 damn dollars for it. Okay, let's see what it's saying now. But I don't know what I was gonna say. Um, but yeah, like I don't know. Like I just feel like that shit is weird. Like, I don't know. That this is just it's very strange did take a lot of cute pictures today y'all why do I look gray see this of me and my brother took literally the cutest picture Laura y'all I'm gonna figure this camera out one of these days anyway I used the, um, a filter from Snapchat. It came out so cute. And then when my sister went to go take one, she ain't like how the filter made her forehead look. So we did one without a filter, but I look gray. This is why I like the filter. Like it just adds like a glow, like a natural tone glow. And I look gray as fuck in this other one. Y'all, it's so crazy how much my niece looks like my daddy. Like, she's literally his twin. Like, what the fuck? So I have received the goods. But of course, they forgot my drink. So he'll be back with my drink. <laughs> like, how many times do I have to say it? Like... I'm not, I'm not gonna let it send me over the edge. You know how like, when there's like so many things that's been going wrong in your life, and it, it takes like one little bitty thing to like send you over the edge? That was almost my 13th reason, because I need my alcohol, okay? Because everybody's stressing me out. I feel like every time I vlog, it just seems like I'm complaining, but I have a right to complain about stuff like this. Like, between, like people just aren't, they don't do their damn job. Everything's always going wrong. I can't eat, enjoy the, the simplest little shit. So first of all, these are supposed to be, I think these are the fried salmon bites. That was, that was 20 bucks. It looked ratchet as hell. I haven't tried it yet. And then these are the fried, uh, I guess fried crab bites. Once again, 20 bucks. And I don't know what this little stuff is on the side. Little pieces, I forgot it did say it has some um, sausage in it. Little itty bitty little pieces of sausage for 20 bucks. Then my drink, I've been waiting on my drink, let's see. I've been texting my sister and I just got phone my daddy. Let's see, when did I get my food? I've been waiting now more than 15 minutes for him to, to bring me my drink. It's giving that he already forgot. Like, Like I'm sitting here like, you know, I'm gonna get my drink, I'm gonna get my food, I'm gonna relax and like decompress, de-stress. And it's like, I can't even, I can't even do that. Like, like you have got to be kidding me. So I had to call the front desk like, hey, like I'm, I've been waiting for my drink. I have two things of ranch. 
Let's see what this shit is hidden for. I cannot believe. I cannot believe I just spent 60 bucks on both of these. And to be brought to me. And then including the tip. I, I can't believe I, I can't believe this was 60 bucks. Like. Okay. So there's that. very fishy not something I would spend 20 bucks on again it's very very fishy <laughs> and I'm like literally pulling them apart from the other ones like <laughs> this is funny no napkins No fucking napkins. That's a fry crap, y'all. <laughs> 20 bucks for this, y'all. This. It's like old cat food. Not that I know what old cat food tastes like. Not that I know what fresh cat food tastes like, but. At this point, what's breakfast gonna be like? Cause I ain't leaving nowhere to go get breakfast. Like, this. Hmm. Now, I'm gonna be the bad guy if I get finished eating this, which I'm not gonna eat all of it because it's gross. Now I'm gonna be the bad guy if I call them back and I'm like, I'm done eating, I don't want my drink anymore. I'm gonna be the bad guy then. Because I wanted to eat this and then go to the fucking pool. So if I get that drink and take it to the pool, they better not say shit to me because y'all Y'all didn't give it to me with my food. And I'm ready to go to the fucking pool. Y'all, this shit is fucking... I... I can't. I should've ate more pizza at the birthday party. I should've ate some wings at the birthday party. I was like, nah, I don't want any wings. So I was like, I'm gonna get something at the hotel after. This is. At this point it's giving. I'm gonna have to go down there and get the drink myself even though I paid for a delivery fee and it. Like I feel like I feel like I'm about to have to be a Karen because at this point, like it's giving I want to talk to a manager because y'all gave me the wrong room. Then the lady who's supposed to be talking to him about about it, I haven't heard anything back from her. Let's see when she called. She called at 7:46. It is now 9:06. I haven't heard back from her. I don't know how long it takes you to call the front desk and talk to them about it and then get back to me. I don't know. Um, so yeah, gave me my room. Haven't heard shit back from the lady. 
The food is fucking terrible and they haven't brought me my fucking drink. And I'm probably gonna have to go get it myself, even though I paid for a fee. Like, I'm just kidding. Like, what would y'all do? What would y'all do in this situation? Because in this situation, like, you can't call me a Karen. Like, they they done fucked up back to back to back. And that food was ass. If only y'all were here to taste what I just tasted. And I don't even, I'm not even the type to complain about my food like that, but I just spent 60 bucks in what the hell? I am not staying at this fucking hotel again. Y'all like sit. Like I was saying earlier, you know, when one little thing happens and it almost sends you over the edge because it's just like so much buildup. Then you get the cherry on top and it's just like overflow. I literally almost started crying by the pool a minute ago because I'm so just fucking sick of just everything right now. Like, I'm just so fucking tired. So, go down there. Didn't even say nothing to the girls at the counter. I just was like, I need to speak to a manager or a supervisor or whatever. And um, I was able to record some of the conversation, but then she asked to see my reservation. So, I had to stop recording to like pull it up for her or whatever. But I told her about everything that's been going on. So, the situation with the room, and mind you, all three of these girls, including the manager, they really didn't seem like they, they didn't give a fuck. They just had, like, straight faces on all the time. Like, they just really didn't care. They, like, they didn't give a fuck. Um, so, the thing about the, uh, the reservation, they found the one with two rooms that they were about to start working on switching, switching me over to. But I'm like, I've literally already been here for, like, three hours. Like, I'm really not in the mood to repack up my shit and move to a different room. Like, I'm ready to get a drink and go to the fucking pool. Like, that's what I'm ready to do. And um, I was like, so is that, like, easier for y'all? Y'all can't just give me, like, a refund of the difference? And she was like, well, that would have to be handled, like, through Airbnb because it was a third party and blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, okay, well, I'm not about to go through all this shit. Like, I'm not, like, that's too fucking complicated. So, I'm like, at this point, I don't give a fuck. And I was like, but the thing with the drink... Never got my drink, so am I at least gonna get the delivery fee back? At least, at least. And she was like, yo, we'll credit that to your account, which Lord knows how long that's gonna take. And it's gonna be one of those things that they never do it. I'm never gonna notice. I'm not gonna be looking for $6 or $11 or $5 or whatever later. I'm not gonna be looking for it. So who knows if I'll ever fucking get that shit. So I'm just like, not fucking satisfied. So then go out to the pool. There's like four or five kids in the pool with two supervisors or parents watching them. They're being very flamboyant and rambunctious. And then I'm sitting here like, where are like the layout chairs? Like I get this is the indoor pool, but still like some people just like to like lay down to whatever. Like there should be like a mixture, you know? Like I've been to hotels with indoor pools and they have the fold back chairs, but they just have like regular sit up chairs. I don't want to sit up in my bikini. Like I just don't, I want to like lay down and be comfortable and read my book. So I was like, okay, so I walked in there and it felt warm. And I was like, oh, like it must be a heated pool or whatever. So I go dab my feet in it, not a fucking heated pool. This shit was fucking cold. And um, one of the little girls, now I've had little girls do weird shit. I swear like, pe like girls start being catty at like very early ages, like very early, like elementary school early. So she sees me sit on the edge of the pool and she swims over and she comes right to the ladder. I sat right beside the ladder just in case I decided to get in. She comes right to, to the ladder and she kind of hangs out there for like two seconds. And then she like goes back in and pedals away. And I shit y'all not, her feet just splash water all in my face. And I just went like this. And I was just frozen. Like, I know she did not just fucking do that. Like, you could tell she clearly did it on purpose. And I just looked across at, I don't know if it was a mom or, like, a supervisor. I don't, I don't fucking know. But I just looked at her like, bitch, like, say something. Like, you're not going to say anything to her? Like, so I just sat there. Because, I, like, I literally almost started crying. Because it's like, just build up, build up, build up, build up. And then that shit just happened. And I want to fucking slap the hell out of her and you for not saying nothing. And obviously, I'm not going to do that. So, I was just like. Whew. So, I was like, I'm going to go outside and check out the, like, outdoor portion. Like, I wonder if that section is heated since it's outside. 
And mind you, it had been raining. Okay, like y'all, like y'all saw earlier, been raining. So it was totally wet all outside there. So I didn't really want to sit on the edge of the pool outside, but I did anyway. The water was no better. Like I was literally just out there fucking shivering. And I'm just like, this is not a good time. Like this is not like I'm at this point, I'm I'm pissed. So I'm like, okay, well I guess I'll go to the bar and just get a fucking strong ass drink and go back to my fucking room because so so I'll go sit up at the bar there's no bartender to be found I'm just sitting there like I don't know where they are there's a few people sitting at the bar so I'm like clearly there's a bartender somewhere so I'm sitting there then these two guys walk up and they come to the bar one obviously both of them worked at the hotel and I'm assuming that the one in all black was a bartender and the other one that wasn't wearing all black just was somebody who worked there so they walk up and like they go behind the bar and they're, they're kind of like at the end the one I'm like, he's sitting there eating a big ass Twix, just eating big ass Twix. Him and the two dudes are just going back talking about some work drama. And I'm just sitting here like, it wasn't in my plans to come up here and sit down to watch you eat a big ass fucking Twix and talk about drama. So I'm just sitting there and um, they're just talking. And then finally I went, I right, want to go to the bartender. And then the guy who did look like the bartender, he was like, oh, you haven't been helped yet? And I'm like, no. Like, do you see anything sitting in front of me? No, I have not been helped. And I'm just staring a hole through y'all. No, I have not been helped. So then the dude eating the Twix, he was like, uh, what do you want? Didn't put the Twix up or nothing. Just still sitting there like. And I was like, uh, Jim Martini. And like, he wasn't nice, pleasant at all. He like drags his ass, but what kind of Jim? You know, do all that or whatever. Then he was like, do you want it like to go? And I was like, to go. Which I don't give a damn if he was gonna give it to me a glass. I was taking that shit up to my room anyway. Cause at that point I like I was I didn't give a fuck. So he gave it to me in this. Didn't like say here you go, like that. Nothing. And I was like, you know what? I'm usually like a really good I'm not the type to just not leave a tip at all. Because I try to give people some leeway. I know some people be going through shit. I've been at work and I've been like really like pissy before. So like I don't leave like just nothing ever. But all I tipped them was two bucks. Like the drink was $14. I only tipped them two bucks. I mean that's still more than 10%. But I usually tip more than $2. Even if my drink is $14. I, I usually tip more than two fucking dollars. But I was like that's how you gonna get us two fucking dollars. Because like what the fuck. Like this day is awful. Like looking at all the pictures and stuff, I'm like, everything looks so good. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be like so nice. And like the reviews that I read as far back as I did go anyway, like they were good. This day has been awful. I stayed at motels, like raggedy ass motels that wasn't even as bad as this. But then again, it's probably because they didn't really have any fucking amenities. So there was really no way for them to disappoint me. But this is fucking ridiculous. Like just everything, everything that I've tried to do at this one hotel, shitty. And that's why I ordered the strongest fucking drink that I could fucking think of because. Hmm. Like, I'm just, I'm so disappointed and like, I seriously want to cry. Cause like, I just feel like it's just like, there's just so many things that I try to do and they just don't go well and then it's like nobody cares to do their fucking job right like and this shit always fucking happens to me it, it always happens to me like i almost get the most inconvenient ass fucking situations that happen to me and i know my close friends be so tired of me some like because i complain so much but it's like there's always some inconvenient shit happening like and like the thing that really gets on my like the, the, the thing that really sends me over the edge is like y'all know like I was talking about like this move and like how it was so unexpected and I was not planning on budgeting like already living by myself. My rent is high as shit. I've never paid rent this high before and like there's like this anxiety of like being able to pay my rent and pay my other shit, feed myself and all this stuff and I just sit here and I've spent over a thousand bucks on this trip to be here a day. Just so I could be there for my niece and for my brother for her birthday. And I've spent over a thousand dollars because everything is going wrong. And the one thing 
this hotel stay, the one thing that should have went smooth and should have just relaxed me is doing the fucking opposite. So I'm about to just sip on this shit and take a fucking shower. And then that's my night. So it is the next morning. It is Sunday. I just got my breakfast. I got some coffee, orange juice. Um, this breakfast actually looks like pretty good. So I just got this. I got scrambled eggs, bacon, sourdough toast, and some uh, potatoes. Do they bring ketchup? Dang it, I should have asked for ketchup. I asked for creamer and jelly, but I wasn't thinking about the ketchup. I kinda need ketchup for my potatoes. What am I gonna do? Cause like, I don't wanna call anybody up just for ketchup, you know? Well, well, at least the breakfast is better than the um, their appetizers, their dinner appetizers. Hey, what is this? Ew. Y'all, I asked for jelly. They only brought me one for two giant pieces of toast and it's orange who who eats orange jelly i know i don't i don't like orange flavored anything unless it's orange juice or an actual orange but like orange flavored stuff is a you know no mm -mm. and my checkout is at 12 and um, I'm expecting to hear something from my daddy um, at some point by then because I don't know if he wants to do anything today. Because like I said, they're not leaving today. And I don't have to leave right this second. I still need to get home today because I have work tomorrow. But um... Like, I don't have to, like, leave, like, right this moment. Okay. The coffee's good. I just need to put some sugar in it, but, like, the coffee's good. I actually feel pretty rested right now. Because I think I went to... Bed. I think I went to bed before 11 last night, which for me is really early. Um, because like I'm a night owl, but um, yeah, I didn't even finish my martini last night because like I showered, the shower was good, and I literally just hopped in bed butt ass naked. And yeah, it did not take me long to just because like after only going on two hours, two and a half hours of sleep. A nine hour trip because of all the stuff that happened, all the stress, all the kids coming here with all the, like I was like mentally and physically just exhausted. So I was out. I was a knocked out. And then I woke up probably like probably like a little after 8 30. So I just finished eating. I didn't eat much of the potatoes because like they're just dry. Like I need ketchup. But that toast was hidden, which is so funny because I'm not a big toast person. Like, I have to be in the mood for toast. And if I eat toast, it's not with butter. Like, toast and butter, like, y'all just wouldn't catch me eating that um, normally. But since I didn't have the kind of jelly I wanted, I was like, okay, well, I'll just try, like, this little toast. I mean, this little butter or whatever. And it was so good. 
Like I don't I don't be eating toast and butter like that. I really don't even be eating butter like that. But um then I ran out of the butter, so I didn't eat the other toast. But um Yeah, so I just got the phone with my daddy and he's like I think he's about tapped out, y'all. <laughs> he was like, all these kids running around. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> okay, it is checkout time. This is just what I'm wearing today. The same flip flops. I can't remember where I got them from. I got these shorts from Shein and I got this top from H&M, I think. Which is so crazy because like, I don't even shop at H&M. It was either H&M or Zara, one of them. H&M, yeah. So, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I'm about to go check out my daddy's Airbnb and see what they got going on before I head home. Okay, y'all. I'm literally right up the street from my daddy, but I just stopped at the gas station to get a Coke, some nacho cheese bugles for when I get back on the road. But I feel a headache coming on. So I'm gonna take a BC powder and the best thing to take BC powders with is Coke. Either Coke or ginger ale. It's just something about the combo together that's just so, ugh. But um, I've been trying to like wean myself back off of Coke and just like drinks like that in general. But when I feel a headache coming on, I don't care. Especially with this long trip I got ahead of me, I'm not trying to be having no headache. I'm like, well, what's, what's the point in that? And baby, this is gonna knock it right out, or at least it should, anyway. But I can only take half because I used to be like addicted to BC powder. Like, I still kind of am. <laughs> anyway. Y'all, I feel like I feel like this whole vlog is gonna be just me trying to figure out the camera and me like complaining complaining about my experiences. But I will say, and I knew that this was gonna be a thing. Vlogging and just filming with like a camera camera is so complicated. Like it's so complicated. And then I'm like OCD about like dropping the camera. Like it's just so complicated like all the features and all the buttons all the switches and like opening and closing all this stuff it's just so much like it's so much easier filming with a phone but it's just that quality like the quality is just it's just unmatchable and then like editing it's gonna take me a while to get used to editing like big time and I've like I edited with Filmora for the last video that I filmed with this camera that's not gonna be for this channel. And it was just so complicated and I really wasn't happy with the end result and I spent like $50 on that thing. And it's just, I love VLLO. VLLO on my phone is like where it's at. Like I love editing on my phone. But I was trying to transfer some clips from the camera to my phone and for some reason it wouldn't let me transfer the video clips for some reason because honestly if I could just do that like I would be so happy with that but yeah it's like super complicated like I keep finding myself just wanting to grab my phone and like vlog but the quality is there though it's there but um yeah anyways let me get on up this street because my daddy already had my brother's brother called me and I'm like, first of all, I told you my checkout was at 12 and I told you I was 40 minutes away. So why are you having somebody call me at 12.30? Like, sir. Oh my gosh, y'all, this hill. Ah! Scary, wee. Both of y'all, yeah, both of y'all gonna have to go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you see your papa and daddy. I'm up the cow. There's something wrong with him. That's nice though. I like how they got the little uh the little creek in the front. I'm so busy with the baby. Me enjoying nature. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? She like they been getting on her nerves. 
Yeah. You ready to eat? <laughs> I've been ready to eat. I've been starving. Be careful too, cause it was some glass out here. You might want to put on your shoes. Okay. Cause they take off Say hey. What do you mean? <laughs> Mama. Mama. Hmm? Yeah. Where's my other part? <laughs> my shoe. Kenzie, she coming, Kenzie. She coming. I'm late. She seen your stuff and she was like, here I come. Does <laughs> <laughs> she go acting like Debo? <laughs> Thank you for the next Wait, what? <laughs> Come on, he's here. Oh. He done cooking. Uh, yeah, I can't do it. I'm going to What's funny is when I first met Tony, it's when Kale did it. You remember that? Yeah, I jumped off his stomach. Uh, no. I got it. Oh, bad. Maybe you brought a trampoline part to the house. Okay, so I'm just at the gas station getting gas. And I got a few snacks. I got some of these. I was actually trying to find those at the last couple stores. Then I got this tropical mango vitamin water. I usually get the pomegranate, but I kind of want to try this flavor. And then I just got some vanilla cream cookies i'm probably gonna eat those first because i already ate the bugle so i kind of don't want more chips but i have four hours left in my trip and this is gonna be my last stop for gas so and i wasn't really like hungry 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 i'll probably stop by and get something right before um i get home like something to eat eat but y'all why this lady in the car beside me a minute ago asked me if i had a bill in my car so she could whoop her kids <laughs> <laughs> ma'am meanwhile y'all I was like so nervous being around all these kids and like family and stuff I was just waiting for somebody to be like here you gonna have one and, da -da -da -da. and I, succe da -da. I successfully made it through the day yesterday when nobody asked me that then of course today my brother's mama hit me with the key are you next and my daddy was like hell no <laughs> He's so against me having kids, thank goodness. But I'm just like, to me, it's just funny because it's like, do y'all see a man anywhere around here? Like, there ain't like, is he is he in this bag? Like, I like, baby, I ain't got no man. Why are you skipping a major step? Like, I need a man first, and then after that, I need a house in a ring. Like, what do you mean? the baby that that's the afterthought but if i'm being honest at this point on a scale of one to ten how much i want kids it's a one so i pretty much don't want them so like i'm just that's another reason why like my anxiety be so high when i be around like a whole bunch of kids because it's like here come the questions especially with me being the oldest like besides my my daddy and my brother's mama and then my brother's grandma who was there obviously like all three of them are older but um i'm the oldest i'm literally the oldest out of everybody there <laughs> today it is monday um i'm about to leave here in a little bit and go to work um y'all i wish there was a way i could turn like there has to be like a shaky stabilization on here. I need to figure that out. But um, I'm not really feeling that good, which that's nothing new. Um, yesterday on the way here, I started getting like this like stabbing pain right under my left rib. And it actually kind of like goes across my stomach to the right side. So I'm just like, <sighs> like it was bothering me last night too while I was trying to sleep. And I'm just like, I'm really hoping I might have like some sort of like liver or like stomach issues. I'm really hoping it's like fluid trapped under there or something and it's just like irritating my organs. It could even be like a little inflammation. Um, if y'all don't know, I do have lupus. So I have in like unspeakable amount of like issues that I deal with 
on a regular basis. Um, I'm actually thinking about like making a whole series about it for like my flare ups and calling it like the lupus diaries or some shit like that. But um, I've never really had like this issue before in this spot. So it's like, I'm trying not to like get too scared about it. And like last night, I was like seriously like up at like four o'clock in the morning, like on the floor praying about it. Cause like, it, like that's how bad it was scaring me. So like, it's not as bad today, but it's just still like, obviously like it's bothering me and it's stressing me out on top of that. And I'm just going into work, like already annoyed about like going into work. Like if I'm just like being like completely honest, like I'm just really not happy. <laughs> I'm really not happy like at this job. Like don't get me wrong. Like I'm grateful that I have a job. I'm grateful that I'm able to work and it was like a dream to even be able to get a job at this specific location because I had wanted to work at this specific location for a long time. But you know what they always say? The grass ain't always greener. And I'm just not happy. I'm not, I'm not happy. And um, I do work at this other location Wednesday. So I'm hoping that I really like it there. I'm hoping I really like the vibe there because... If I'm being honest, my mindset right now, I'm just thinking maybe it's just time for me to find something else, which I don't even know what that other else would be. Um, my plan was to start taking classes for like real estate, um, to be a realtor, but obviously like that costs money and because of how my living situation changed that kind of put a dent in everything like I just don't really have like that extra money laying around to like take those classes and then invest in that um so like it's one of those things where it takes time to pay off so it's like even if I got into it right now I would still in the meantime have to have like a job but like I'm one of those people like if I'm not happy at a job I'm out like I just I don't see a point into like stressing myself out further being in a place that I'm not happy with because like with me when I get stressed it affects me physically like with my health like the main trigger of like my flare-ups and stuff is stress and um so I'm just like it just really ain't worth me being stressed because like my health like your health is wealth like <laughs> come on um so yeah i'm just like i was really sitting here thinking a minute ago like i just really don't want to go so hopefully wednesday when i work at the other location like hopefully like it's it's just better hopefully because like i just don't really know what else i would do right now like i really don't want to go back to like serving or doing some kind of job that includes tips because like even though like I know I will be making like more money um, it's not necessarily better money because you have to the shit that you have to put up with like being a server or like a cocktail or whatever like is crazy it's so crazy like serving is not for the week not for the week at all so if you've never been a server before and you be having so much shit to say about people who serve and like you go out you go out and show your ass out with service workers try doing that shit try doing it that shit is not fucking easy at all um so like i really just i really don't want to go back to it i really don't um but it's just like it's like when you're working at a job it's already like you're already not happy yet and it's not even really enough to pay your bills. It's kind of like, what is the point of like me being here? And um, yeah, like I, I need to find something else to do. It just sucks because like I really love the company that I work for. They have really good benefits. They're one of the few places that have maternity leave. Not that. I care about that because like I'm not pregnant and I'm not planning on being pregnant 
Um, but it's just still nice to know that that's available because you never know like what could happen. And honestly, any company that offers that, it's just a good sign. That's a green flag. And it's just a great company to work for. Like just everything, like how they have everything set up. Like I love how they have everything set up. That's why I've been with the company for two fucking years. Um, which this is the longest time I've ever stayed with any job. I don't count my last serving job. I was there on and off for like seven years, but I would take breaks. I would take breaks for like six months <laughs> like, and then come back. So I didn't work there like straight through for the seven years. But, yeah, like, I just love this company. But it's, like, sometimes, like, the people can, like, really just, like, make or break. And I hope nobody there sees this video. But, I mean, like, it is what it is. Like, this is just really how I feel. Like, I just feel like nobody's happy there. Like, nobody's happy working there. And that shit, it, it affects me. Like, I'm very much an empath. And when I come to work, I can feel like the heat and the irritation like coming off like people who just hate being there and like it affects me in like every way and I'm like I knew that this job wasn't gonna be like as good as I had at the last job I knew that because I was like I got it too fucking good like I love my staff too much like we have too much fun like I know it's not gonna be the same but I wasn't expecting it to be this different like I don't have fun at work and yeah like it's just yeah I just don't have fun <laughs> and like even then like I still come to work and I'm still like chipper still like you know play it off like I'm in a really good mood and all that or whatever even for days where I'm like in physical pain I still come in there with a smile on my face and then to see like other people who just are acting like so miserable it's like Like, motherfucker, like, I know I don't know what you're going through right now, but you don't know what I'm going through right now either. And I got to come in here and, like, just deal with your misery, too. Like, it's just, it drains the fuck out of me. And, like, like, maybe, like, in the next 10 or 15 minutes, like, I'm about to have to, like, head out. And I'm, like, but, um, yeah, whenever I get off, there really isn't anything going on like I'm just gonna be home and I'm just gonna eat and I'm probably gonna start working on editing this video or this vlog and that's pretty much it I don't even know like what I have planned tomorrow like I know I need to get like a few like little groceries and um I kind of I kind of want to go to a shelter and look at some kittens y'all I, like I, I don't know I just feel like it's like such a big thing because like Precious Precious has been gone a little over a year and a half and it just still like doesn't even feel real but it's like I feel like Phoebe is just so lonely she's she's so lonely and like whenever I go out of town like even if it's for like a day or whatever like I just like she doesn't have anybody here with her like she's just completely alone and, like, even though her and Precious really didn't get along, like, they weren't best buds or anything like that, like, she still had somebody here with her. She had somebody to pester, you know? And I'm just, like, <sighs> like, I just, I don't know. And then it's, like, a part of me wants to get an older cat because Phoebe's older. But at the same time, Phoebe behaves like a kitten. Like, she's she's a little different in the mind like like she's basically like autistic like if i'm like being real like she's she's very autistic like she she's on the spectrum it and like people like think like i'm just like trying to be funny when i say that but like if you meet her and be around her for a little bit like you'll see okay like she's a little different <laughs> so for that reason i'm like i probably should get a kitten because like that's more like mentally on her level but um, the thing about it is because she's older, she's most likely going to pass before the kitten. And then that kitten, when it's older, it's going to be alone. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I just know that whatever cat it is, it needs to be a playful cat. Like somebody that she can play with. But it's just still like a big step. And then that pet deposit. Like, I don't know. But I just kind of want to go look. Like, I just kind of like want to go see. 
So maybe that's gonna be on the agenda tomorrow. I don't know. For another chance, and that you would just be like, oh, I'll do anything to keep you in my life. No, I don't see that. I feel like they're completely surprised that you're like, all right. Okay, y'all, my camera's gonna be a little crooked. I literally can't get, <laughs> I can't get a car mount that goes on top of my dash because I busted a hole in it. Yeah, I broke it, so yeah. Y'all, I haven't eaten anything. I haven't drank anything. I really gotta get better with that, y'all. Like, I'll get up like late and I'll just start going. Like, won't eat, won't drink, no nothing. So I stopped and got some um, steak and shake. I just got a cheeseburger with some lettuce and pickles, tomato, mayo, and cheese. And then I just have some fries and a Sprite. This Sprite, y'all, is so strong. It's so good. But yeah, so... I just wanted to check at least one shelter out today and just to like see the options and stuff and then I wanted to go to Stardust Coffee and try to get some editing done for this vlog I started to go to Foxtail but I kind of want something like with a different vibe today in Stardust. It's like a real like low-key like chill vibe. It's a very like eclectic place I feel like. Like it's very... It's actually kind of like grungy a little bit. But I haven't been there in forever so I really want to go. Y'all like I had this uh, lady try to stop at my car door a minute ago and it asked me something and I was just like mm -mm. like y'all I've gotten to the point where okay so I'm very much the type of person to give to the homeless like if I have change I'll give it and like if I'm having like a really good like financial day I guess you could say I'll even give them money sometimes but I'm usually the type of person like I would prefer to like get food so like I've literally gone to like a, like a drive through and gotten somebody a meal before. Like I'm just like I, I I do shit like that. But these days, like I've grown I've grown so paranoid about shit. But especially when I'm in my car and somebody rolls up on my car, I don't like that shit because I've just had too many like weird things happen. Like, it's just getting really crazy out here now. Like, you can't just, like, really be that nice anymore. And it's really sad. But, like, even, like, people knocking on my door, like, I'm not answering the door if I don't know why you're here, you know? And, um, the other day I had some weird shit happen. So, like, the guy, like, this guy, he rang my doorbell. So, like, I was just speaking to him through the door. Like, I never even went to the door. I, I said through the door. I was just speaking to him through um, my ring app. I, like I never even walked to the door, but he had like this like little gift bag in his hand, and he was like, "Oh, we're we're just going around, and um, we're giving gifts. Um, you don't have to buy anything. It's just like a trial." So I barely even heard what the fuck he was saying. I barely even heard what he was saying, but I'm just like out of all places you came over here like you would think they would go to like actual neighborhoods like actual houses but you stopping by apartments and shit like that's kind of weird out the way it goes get off my doorstep because I don't I, I, I did not send for you like it, shit is just different now like you can't really just be going to people's doors anymore now unannounced like and then I had somebody banging on my door yesterday and like I was just talking to him through the door because he didn't even ring the doorbell and it's like 
if you see my ring camera and you choose not to press the button it's giving that you like are up to something I don't know but I was talking to him through the door and I was like yeah like how can I help you and like I couldn't understand what he was saying and I was just like yeah no no that's not me I don't know what the fuck he was saying but I think he had like some I think he had like some food or something and then I saw him go down to somebody else's house but it's like I just really don't see how you could have got both of those addresses confused like that's a whole different building with a whole different number like I, I don't know I'm not opening the door unless it's something that I sent to myself <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I'm hungry or if these fries really just hit him. I need to go to, um, I'm trying to figure out, do I want to go to Publix or do I want to go to Walmart? Either way it goes, I need to go to the grocery store because I need to get a few things. I really want to make some uh, deer chili tonight. I haven't had deer chili in three months like that's crazy he knows. He knows. He can come. he's so loud oh okay <laughs> okay oh, i know let me go look at your friends where you going? <laughs> Why'd you run away the second I pulled out the camera? Come here. Come here. <laughs> Somebody does not like the camera. He knows. He knows. You're so big. He's such a big baby. <laughs> Y'all, when I say that was the best animal shelter experience I've ever had, like, they had that shit going on in there, okay? So, like, <laughs> so I didn't know what I was really walking into. I didn't know what to expect. So, I wasn't, like, just vlogging. Like, I didn't have the camera right then and there. Like, I don't know their rules and all that. Like, I don't know. Um, So walk in and they have like different like receptionists they have different desks and they just you know they greet you everybody was so fucking sweet to everybody that i talked to and they were so sweet um and they're just like you know sign in and then whenever you get done you can just follow the pop uh print path and it'll take you to the cats and the dogs and i'm like okay like that's kind of nice like back home we ain't got no shit like that okay no shit like that mind y'all i have worked at two 
vet clinics, okay? One of them, I managed a boarding facility. One, I was a receptionist. And I volunteered at a cat shelter for years. Like, it was like on and off, but it was still like for years. And um, obviously, like I visited other shelters back home too. So like, I have experience with this shit. Back home, we do not have shit like this. Like, this was top fucking tier, okay? So then... Like, I followed the path or whatever, went back there. I looked at some of the dogs, but, like, it just get kind of overbearing back there. Like, it's just really loud, a lot of barking, and it smells like dogs. Um, but their facility was nice, as clean as it could be, like, for a shelter. Um, they just really fucking had it going on. And then, like, I didn't feel like anybody was breathing down my neck. Like, there's some places, like, they barely even let you look at the damn animals because they too busy, like, up your ass. And it's like, do, are y'all trying to adopt adopt animals out or not? Like, can I look? So, it was nice. Like, I felt like I wasn't, like, having somebody breathe down my neck, even though there were a lot of people who worked there. So, then I go into the cat place. And there were a couple of volunteers in there. They were both super sweet, both so helpful, like, when I had any questions. And um, it was just, it was so nice. So then um, one of the kittens that I wanted to look at, the little orange one y'all saw, he already had somebody who applied uh, to adopt him. So I couldn't, I couldn't take him into the room and play with him. So the one, the black and white one, who was, oh my gosh, y'all, his face, he has the cutest little face like the way it's shaped and like his uh pattern so cute so um i was able to have him in the playroom and like you know just like get to know him a little bit of course he was super curious because like it's a bigger room so he was like looking around but he was like letting us like pet him he was like rubbing on us and stuff and um i was like okay let me like try to like pick him up because like not every cat likes to be picked up and i'm the type of person like i have to have a cat that likes being picked up because i like to pick them up and um I like picked him up a little bit. He went me, and I was just kind of like, mm. and he was just kind of chilling. Like he wasn't like freaking out or nothing like that. I just think like he was just busy, like being like curious, like he was wanting to explore the room. But he was so fucking cute. So he's uh, I think they said that he was like eight months. Even though I don't think he's eight months because whenever I talked to the lady at the end, because I filled out like my little paper for the uh the application. And whenever I talked to the lady in the front, she said that he was brought in just yesterday and his owner had him for two months. So I honestly, I don't think he's no older than two months. He's like, he's like, he's really small. And, um, I feel like I know my cats pretty well because <laughs> somebody said he was eight months. I don't know if he was a volunteer or whatever, but I'm like, he ain't no eight months, but, um, but yeah, he's so fucking cute. But they were like, so the fee today is $40. And I was like, Ugh. I was like, I'm not really sure. Like, I, I just started looking. So like, I kind of want to check out more places. And I want to be sure and confident within myself that I'm ready to take on another living thing. It's it's not the same as getting another fucking hermit crab, you know. So I'm just like, I have to like, just be really confident. But I just feel like I'm at the point where now it's a good time for me to start looking around. But um, so far that place gets 10 out of 10 oh and then when i asked her because she was like uh, he has like all his shots the only thing that we don't test for is the uh, leukemia and the fiv so you would have to do that yourself but um he just still needs to get like his uh neuter done which they do all that and um uh, she's like basically we would just notify you like when he's ready to be picked up and i was like okay so like how much is like everything in total she was like oh just the 40 and i was like just the 40 she's like yeah that includes like all the shots and everything and i was like 40 just 40 when, just when I didn't think it could get any better only thing is like I can tell that these animals in there they go quick they go quick there were so many in there that already had adopted signs like on their uh, cages so I tried not to film those ones because obviously like they technically already belong to somebody but that was such a good experience like I almost don't even want to go anywhere else just because it's so that was just so nice and she said they get buku animals every day so um i might go check at least because there's just there's way too many shelters here i'm not gonna go to every damn shelter but i might just check out one more just to like see if there's a different vibe but i'm really kind of set on this one like this experience was just like it was too good it was too good um but yeah so i'm about to go I need to see how far away Stardust is. If it's too far, I'm not going to go there. But if it's close enough, then I'll go there. But I need to get to editing this vlog. Y'all might sweat. It's like so mucky and humid. 
because it just got it was like pouring rain whenever I came out the cat facility but oh my gosh y'all he was so cute his face was so cute I kept trying to get like his face like face on on camera but it was kind of hard because he was just moving around too much but if I can remember to insert a picture I will but his face is so cute it's so cute um also to clarify I want a boy I don't want a girl again I want a boy and that for sure means that I'm gonna need one that's gonna get neutered so that's great that they do all that here and everything but um yeah I mean like I had two girls and if I'm being honest the second time I had it I got Phoebe I really wanted a boy then but she just so happened to be a girl and I just knew for a fact I wanted her when I saw her I was like I have to have her I have to have her and um I didn't know that she was gonna be a girl but that obviously that's fine <laughs> but this time I'm getting a boy for sure I'm not getting a girl like I, I've never had a boy cat and the one time no the two times the first time me and my ex were gonna get a, a cat together it was a boy cat and my mama's best friend's daughter who's basically kind of like my god sister in a way um they decided they wanted to keep him we named him and everything and they got too attached to him so that was a bust and then we went to this one shelter in um in magnolia arkansas which the worst shelter i've ever been to it like the most disgusting shelter like they do not take care of their animals they're like it's so bad so we found a little uh siamese cat that we wanted and we were literally gonna adopt him we named him leo and everything and um i knew something was wrong with him when we saw him but I was like, maybe I'm tripping. Well, before we got him, he passed away. Like, when I called to check on them, she was like, yeah, that whole litter passed away. And it's like, gee, I wonder why, because y'all don't take care of any of y'all's animals. So, yeah. The first two boys I was going to get didn't go well. You know, I guess things happen for a reason. But I'm getting a boy this time, okay? I'm getting a boy. Like, I want to utilize some boy names for once. Um, but I think his name right now is Abu. Which is like so cute, but obviously I'm gonna change that to my own name. But uh, that was just a really, I was like, I was not, like, it was just nice, like 10 out of fucking 10. I'm about to go leave, I haven't even adopted a pet from there, and I'm literally about to go write a review on how awesome that was, okay? That was, they ate that, they really did. But um, she said that this is good until the end of today if I wanna come back and uh, pay or whatever. But it's just such a big jump. Like, I have some things to do. Only thing is, the more time I waste, that increases the chances of somebody else getting him. Which, it is what it is. If somebody else gets him, that just means it wasn't meant to be. But, like, I just need to make sure that in my heart, like, I am truly, like, ready. Like, I can't be just doing this for Phoebe. Like, I have to do it for me, too. So... That was just really nice. That, that was a really nice experience. <laughs> okay i'm just now leaving the coffee shop because i kind of got to a point where i kind of need to be at home because i forgot my uh my laptop headphones so it was kind of hard to edit when I couldn't hear what I was talking about in the video. But, um, yeah, I feel like this is one of the few rare moments where I'm not, like, sweating and it's not scalding hot because it's been raining a lot today. And so, like, the sun is finally, like, trying to come back out. But it just feels really nice right now. Like, y'all, this is the first time I've worn something like this <laughs> since I've been here, I'm pretty sure. Um... But yeah, so like that was just a chill little session. I haven't been there in forever, but I just love that place because like it's real like eclectic and it just, it has so much character. It looks old. Like I love shit like that. And when you walk in, there's like random like little cubby areas to like work at. I just, I don't know. I love it. It's not, it's definitely, I can't even talk. 
it's definitely not your typical coffee shop but um and the guy he made me um an iced vanilla latte and it was actually really good but um but yeah i think i'm about to go to do i want to go to walmart or Publix? i'm probably just gonna go to walmart if i'm being honest um I'm trying to figure out make sure i didn't forget anything to do today because y'all already know once i get to the house that's it <laughs> okay so i'm back home i've been back home for some time I've just been running my damn mouth, but I'm about to make some deer chili. So um, if y'all care to see how I make my chili, I guess I can like show y'all how I make it. First of all, I don't really do a lot with my chili. Like I don't chop up onions or tomatoes or whatever. I don't feel like that's necessary to have good chili. As long as you season it good, it comes out good. Um, so if you're somebody who doesn't like like chunks of vegetables like in your chili, try making this chili yeah. not that i have an issue with that like i still eat like just about any kind of chili but just me personally when i make my chili i, I don't feel like it's necessary to, to do all that so anyways um and then whenever i do home chili i don't uh cook rice with it like i just do just chili the only time that i add rice with my chili is if it's like canned chili or something which i don't even make canned chili anymore but uh yeah Okay, I'm obviously not going to show y'all the meat when it's like all bloody and stuff. I'll show y'all when it's a little bit more um, cooked down. But um, obviously y'all don't have to use um, deer meat or venison as some people call it. You don't have to use that. You can just use any kind of ground meat. You can use ground turkey, um, regular beef. Like, it doesn't really matter. And I'm literally just listening to my tarot readings in the back. That's what y'all hear. But um, yeah, so I just use this regular chili powder. I use a lot of this. And then I also combine it with um, just like a packet of chili powder because they do taste a little different. I feel like this has extra stuff in here. So I put that in there. And then sometimes I put like a little bit of Tony's. And then sometimes I put a little bit of uh, red pepper flakes just to make it a little bit more like spicy, or whatever. I used to put, um, sometimes I used to put, uh, what do you call it? Not hot sauce, the, uh, not Tabasco. What's the damn, like the really thick hot sauce? Sriracha. Sometimes I used to put sriracha in there. Sometimes I put um, jalapeno in there. I switch it up every now and then, but this is pretty much just like the basic version of how I make it um, when I don't have like all the other stuff. And then I also use some sort of chili beans. Obviously you don't have to put beans in it if you want. And you can put like different kind of beans in it, but I love beans. I have to have beans in my chili every time I make it. And um, yeah, so I just get like any kind of chili beans. I usually um, do get the mixed chili beans, but I just grab the first chili beans that I saw. Yeah. And then I just eat it with saltine crackers. Now, at this point, you can drain it if you want to, but a lot of times I usually don't drain it because deer meat is incredibly lean. It's not greasy, so I don't really feel a need to um, drain it. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but it's not greasy. Like, obviously there's gonna be like some liquid there, because I mean, obviously like it's meat, but um, totally different from beef, super lean. So yeah, you can drain it if you want, but I don't really see a point for me to drain it. Okay, now at this point, it's mostly cooked, so I'm gonna put my beans. And I'm just doing one can since I'm doing a smaller um, cup or a smaller uh, pack. 
of meat. And y'all, I usually do this in a pot, but I didn't even realize I don't even really have like a big pot, which is crazy. Like I didn't even notice. Now, if you like your chili a little thicker, you can, I guess, leave it like this if you want to, but I do like mine with like a little bit of like chili juice in it. So I am gonna add just like a little bit of water. Okay, and then this, I do not measure my chili powder at all. So, do what you feel comfortable with. I like a lot of chili powder. <laughs> and mine. put the perfect amount of water in there the way it's thickening up this is like the perfect thickness for me hello y'all i feel like i look so sweaty today is wednesday and i'm just now getting home from work i got some chinese food before I left, I got some pepper chicken and some honey, honey chicken, and then some fried rice. I usually get lo mein, but their lo mein looked a little uh, light skin tinted for me. I was like, I don't feel like this is gonna have much flavor, so I just didn't get that. But um, anyway, so today was my first day working at the other location that I'm wanting to transfer to, and I'm transferring. Um, I already talked to them earlier and I let him know that I will be shooting him an email tonight so we can get that jump started. But I know it was my first shift, but one, I really don't have much time to decide because they have positions open right now. Um, they're not going to be there for long. And, um, and then on top of that, like, I just, I just have to go off like how I feel and it to, it did feel a little lighter to me. Like it felt a lot lighter. It was a, it's a big store. So I met a lot of people on my first day and everybody was just like so enthusiastic. Everybody was so polite and so nice and like cheery and all that. And, um, so far I like how they do things. Obviously it's my first shift. So I haven't like encountered like every type of situation, but so far, like I like how they do stuff. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, it's just really sad because I had wanted to work the location that I'm at now. I had wanted to work at this location for so long and it's almost like I manifested it without realizing that I was manifesting it. Like it would just happen. It just happened really, really slow. And um, yeah, I finally got in there and just the grass ain't always greener. Like I've said that before. It ain't always greener. And it could be worse. Like, it could be way worse. Like, I could be dealing with some, like, psychos. I, I've been there before. Like, where you got managers that just want to fight all the time. Or just, like, coworkers that want to fight all the time. Like, so it's nowhere near as bad as, like, my other jobs. But I'm just done with shit like that. And I'm done with being at a place that I'm just not happy at. And then especially, most importantly, if I'm not getting the hours that I thought I was going to be getting... And I'll be getting more at this other place that I worked at today. So, like, it's it's a no-brainer. Because at the end of the day, like, I got bills. Like, I'm a grown-ass woman. I have bills to pay. Like, I can't just be... And then on top of that, like, I ain't get that full-time position either. And I found out who they gave the full-time positions to. Now, one of the girls I gave it to, like, she totally deserves it. Like, she's been there for a while. Um, and I, I was already under the impression that she was full-time. I don't know why I just assumed that she was full-time. But um, she wasn't. 
So like, yes, totally happy that one of the positions they gave it to her. But the other person that they gave it to, I was so confused because I was like, they're barely here. Like when I was told who it was, I was like, I don't even know them. And it, it took like literally I saw a picture of them yesterday and I was like, I do not know this person. Like I've never seen this person. I've been here for three months. I've never seen them. Kind of weird that she got the position over me. Cause she not, she don't be there. Like, so I don't know. I, I, I hate to say it, but I just feel like she just didn't want to give it to me. I feel like she didn't want to give it to me. Now, they don't have any full-time positions open at the, the location that I'm going to be transferring to, but that's fine. I'll still be getting more hours than what I'm getting at this place. And whenever they do get a full-time position open, I will apply for that shit like ASAP. Hopefully, I get it. But, um, yeah, everybody like just seemed like real cool at this location. The leads seemed like chill. Like, you know, I was so hungry. That little bowl of cereal I ain't do nothing this morning. I don't have anything else planned today. I just worked. I'm about to eat my little food. And that's going to be it for the day. <laughs> this is just me like giving y'all like a little work update. But anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I'm about to leave the beach. It is Friday. Um, it was really nice. At first the water was like really cold, but then I got used to it really quick. So it wound up being fine. But I'm trying to make my first, um, what do you want to call it? Like go to the beach with me, little vlog for TikTok. I'm going to try my hand at that side of TikTok to see how that is. But y'all, it's so hard to get footage for a TikTok video and for a YouTube vlog because it's like there's some things you can't really film twice and so it's kind of like you got to pick or choose like which one you want to go on TikTok or um, YouTube and then for some things it's like you got to do it twice <laughs> for both of them so it's like really awkward when you're at a beach and like there's people watching like it's just yeah really awkward and especially with the fact that I am at a nude beach today so like it's even harder because I'm trying to respect people's privacy and here I am propping up a camera camera and my phone so like it like you probably would at some times think that I'm getting naked people on camera but I was really good about like turning the camera off or turning it away whenever somebody walked in the way but not everybody knows that so I just got to a point where I was like okay like maybe I should just like chill out because like I don't want anybody to like you know flip out so I really don't have like any plans for the rest of the day especially since my hair is like all wet now I'm gonna have to wash it later but y'all if I'm being honest I contemplated going to the ER whenever I got back home because I'm still having like these stabbing pains on my sides and like I said like because my lupus like it's nothing new for me to have like stabbing pains like in my abdomen and stuff but the fact that it's been going on since Sunday and it's been every day and it's been both of my sides at the same time under my ribs and everything and I'm just like oh like it's been all well, it's been five days and I'm like 
like should i go to the freaking er like i don't want to like wait for it to like get worse and then i was looking online and it was saying something about appendicitis and that's something that i wouldn't want to get too bad to the point where i have to have surgery because like surgery terrifies me y'all like i've never i've had two colonoscopies but i've never had surgery before and it just really scares me and so i'm like i probably should go to the er and like if it's that like if i catch it early enough like i can just get like antibiotics for it but it's like i feel like i really shouldn't keep waiting so y'all look a mess i feel like i shouldn't keep waiting so the whole time i've been at the beach i haven't had any stabbing pains though which is interesting so i think what i'm gonna do because i have work tomorrow and the next day and the next day and i really don't want to call in because like two of those shifts i picked up like you know um so i think i'm gonna get home and i'm, I'm gonna chill out for a little bit and if it persists i'm gonna just go